what has it been like being back on set of Abbott Elementary since the strike ended and getting back to work? I don't think I was really prepared for the relief that, that kind of the floodgates opened and the strikes I feel like only delayed that and sort of compounded how excited we all were to get back and and obviously it felt like we had achieved something really great and so it was it was a bit of a bigger celebration that I was prepared for and you know we're in our third season now and I feel like these people are my family and I love my job so much and so it was it was an incredible feeling I'm very happy to be back what can we expect from your character in season three what can you tease um, is Quinta anywhere around um, no, I don't really have anything like too dramatic to tease about Jacob. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about where this season is going. I feel like from the jump, Quinta has really turned the show on its head, and she's really going to introduce something that I think is going to pe keep people guessing. And there's a lot of amazing characters who you will meet um, in the very early episodes of this season. And I think it's going to be fun to sort of explore like Jacob. Um, getting what he wants, you know. I don't think I don't think we would have um, a show if we made these characters, you know, the 180 opposite of what they are. But but I think we're gonna kind of you know who they are, and hopefully you have some um, relationship to that. And so now we're gonna sort of like challenge that and 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 see how much we can get away with. So Jacob's gonna win a little bit more this year. We're excited to see it, and maybe a win tonight. How would that feel? Uh, I would love that. Do you know if you won an Emmy tonight where you would put it? Um, well, my SAG award is currently being used as a doorstop. Um, and I have another door in my house, so... No, that, that one's shiny. I feel like that one's got to go high up somewhere where it won't get dusty. Um, I don't know. Haven't thought about it. There are always so many amazing guest stars on Abbott. What's another nominated show tonight that you would love to guest star on if you could? Oh man, um, I have to say it's been such uh, an unbelievable joy to watch all of my New York theater brethren passing through Only Murders in the Building. I'm like, I'm like, who are they gonna put in it next? It's so great. I mean, there's there's such a wealth of great actors in New York City, and and that are right for that show. And so um, that would that would be kind of like. Um, that would be, that would be unbelievable. That would be sort of too good to be true. But I, I love that show and I love everybody who's on it. So, and the Emmys are celebrating 75 years of TV history tonight. For you, when you were growing up, what's a show that made you love television? Hmm. You know, I didn't. I, it was really like only in my like adolescence that I started to watch, and I guess all of us started to watch series in the way that we do. But. You know, I grew up on all of the sitcoms that we all grew up on, but I watched a lot of stand-up comedy. I was like, if, if the TV was on, that's what I was watching. I was trying to, um, I, I, it wasn't conscious, but I was just really drawn to that, to their timing and to their vulnerability. And so um, I watched a lot of stand-up as a kid.